Hi, everybody. This is Sarah from the Fiber Girls podcast. And you'll notice it's just me. I don't have Sarah and Kayla with me today. Uh, Sarah and I were trying to record yesterday, and we did four parts to our video, and we had some technical difficulties. I don't have Kayla's awesome microphone, um, and we didn't yesterday either, so I apologize. I hope the sound is okay. Um, I think the lighting is all right. It looks good from where I am. Uh, I'm just gonna go over my makes right now because um, when Sarah and I recorded yesterday, then everything got deleted at, um, after it froze. So I'm really sorry. This episode is hopefully gonna be just a quick to show you what I did. So um, first I'll show you that I'm working on, maybe I can get it without knocking into the camera. Um, I, well, I'm Sarah from Sarah Craft Yarn. I think you guys said that, I think you all know that, but um, anyway, you can, I'll put all the show notes either below this video or below one of the other videos so that you can find the things that we've been talking about. And I will get to that this week, but it's been a crazy couple of days. So I apologize for that. Um, so first I'm working on the Selbu mittens by Skeen Deer Knits and they're a beautiful pattern. I really am enjoying it. I have the first one mostly finished. Um, and I really enjoy this pattern so far. I have to cast on the second one and then I'm gonna go back and do the thumbs, but it fits perfectly on my, I have kind of thin, long hands. So it's just perfect. I love it, I'm really excited. And I'm using a new to me yarn, which is the Rama to me, and it's 50% alpaca, 50% wool. Um, and I got that at Knit Knit the Studio in Spokane. So my, I don't think the colors are on here, but I will show you the numbers. Let's see if I can. Numbers. Um, so that's just the pink and then the natural. So I'm doing the Selbu mittens. Um, and then, and that was my Christmas Eve cast on instead of casting on another pair of socks because I was knitting too many socks. Uh, so I did that. And then, um, what else am I working on? Oh, I'm working on, I just started a new sweater because I didn't need another sweater. <laughs> but I really wanted to do a worsted weight sweater and I wanted to do um, something that was just plain stockinette. So the sweater I cast on actually has some color work around the yoke um, and then the rest is just plain stockinette and it's only two color, color work. So it's actually going really, really fast. So it's the Humulus and that's by Isabel Kramer. Um, and I am using the Fiber Company Cumbria. Um, and my, the main color is this blue kind of teal color, which I really love. Um, and that is called Windermere. And then my contrast color is this sort of mustard color called Buttermere. So they look like. Um, and I also bought those at Knit Knit, the studio. So I am about halfway through the chart. Let's see if I can find my front. Here we go. Not that it matters, I guess, where the front is, but it's the same around. So that's that so far. And I'm really enjoying it. It's really easy. Like I said, I'm about halfway through the color work and then I will finish that and then it will just be stuck in it forever, which is really what I'm wanting right now. So, um, so I have that going and then I am doing a test knit for Sarah and I know she was talking about it yesterday. I don't have the finished thing, but I'll just show you so far what I'm doing because I'm obviously not going to show you the chart, but it's a hat. It's for a kit that she's doing with um, Stephanie from the Rusted Stitch and Kayla from Lips on Six. So the three of them are doing this really great uh, collaboration and there is a bag, yarn, charm, and hat pattern. Um, and so it's, I haven't seen the yarn yet, but um, it's beautiful. The bags are beautiful and it's a really great concept. So I'm using this yarn for my main color and this is actually a test base that I'm trying. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to bring it into the shop or not. It's a really fine, like lightweight fingering tweed base and I really like the way that it took the color uh, I just 
you'll have to let me know what you think if I should do a tweed base or not. I don't know how much interest there is in that. So that's for my main color. And then my contrast color, one of them is this red, which is something deep stash, and I don't know what it is. And then the brown is this brown. Um, it's a variegated sort of brown. It's a beautiful color. It's called caribou, and that's one of Kayla's colors uh, from the advent swap that we did. So, um, so this is going to be a really fun pattern. There's going to be two versions Sarah's doing. I think she talked about it on her short video. There's a folded brim and then just a short brim. And I'm doing the short brim um, version. And so hopefully I will get that done soon. So I have those. And then one other thing I've been working on a little bit, but not a ton because it's just a lot. I don't have a picture. The Birkin by Caitlin Hunter. Um, when I got into the three colors in one row, uh, I was having a hard time figuring out how I wanted to hold my yarn to make it more comfortable. So this is what I have so far. Um, and this is my little charm from Kayla, little caramel apple. Um, and I'm using all for this one, this is all Brooklyn Tweed Loft. And I have, oh my goodness, I have the hail, um, oh boy, if I don't remember the names. I have thistle is the purple. The main color is the gray and that's snowbound. And then bale is the yellow. And camper is the pink. And then my green is called tent. So, uh, so that's, uh, I'm really excited about that. I just, the, in the, I usually am knitting in the evenings when my kids go to bed and I'm watching TV with my husband and I don't want to turn on the big bright light. And so for some reason it's hard when it's that dark to see the difference between, excuse me, between the veil and the snowbound. And so when it was both of those colors in one row, I kept losing my place and I was just getting kind of frustrated and I put it away. So, um, but I'm gonna pick that back up because I do think that that will be a lot like the Humulus where once I get through that color work, which is only in the yoke, then it's just stuck in that and it'll be a really nice project to work on um, on trips or at ballet or whatever, you know kind of an on-the-go thing, because I'm not doing plain socks right now, which is what my usual on-the-go project is. So uh, so I have that, and then um, that's really, those are the main things I'm working on. I am working on two designs right now, so I'm not going to show those, but um, I don't remember if that's one of those that got cut out or not uh, on one of our videos, but I am doing my first designs this year. That's one of my goals this year, is to publish at least one of them. Um, it's a shawl design and then also a sock design. And um, I will be looking for testers for one, at least one of them in the next month or so. And um, so if you're interested in that, please uh, message me, get in contact and let me know. Uh, and, um, and then I will also put out something on Instagram or something to say that I'm looking for uh, testers at that time. So that's those are my big projects right now. Um, the sock design, again, I don't know if, I don't remember which parts showed up on the video, uh, but this is the main color of yarn, and this is a Grayson wool color, and this is called um, Sleepovers and Secrets, and then this is the Sangria mini scheme, and so I am doing my sock design with that, um, and so we'll see I'm excited about that one. It's been really fun. It's fun to knit up. I wish I could show it to you. So those are um, those are my big projects right now. So I know it's a really short video. I just wanted to show you those and I'm working a little bit on spinning, but that's, <laughs> I'm not good. Um, so this is the first try on a drop spindle. I don't know, maybe it's okay for a first time. I'm using this, um, yarn uh fiber that i got in oregon on a road trip and it's kind of reds and greens and silver it's 
really beautiful, but um, it is from Elsie's Discount Roving. Um, and this is a silk, sorry for the crinkling. It's a uh, Merino and Tessa silk blend of 70-30 um, in autumn is the color. And so that's, I'm trying to get myself to learn how to drop spindle. So I've been doing YouTube videos to try to do that. So I'm going to start picking that up more and hopefully I will have a little bit more of that to show you. And, um, and pick up some other projects that I've set aside, like my swag and stuff I have not touched. So, um, yes, this, it's so much more awkward when it's just me. <laughs> There's nobody to talk to. So, um, thank you for, for tuning in real quick for this. And, um, Hopefully the sound and everything is okay on this and I really hope the three of us can get together again soon. Our schedules have just been crazy, but I miss Kayla and Sarah, so it's, we have such a good time. So um, anyway, I hope you're all doing really well. We also posted the, um, we talked about the winners and if for some reason that did not uh, show in the video, I think it did, but if it didn't, I will just contact the winners. Um, so, and then we will start a new thread. We'll start a thread for this on Ravelry. And I think we are going to do a couple other knit alongs. We just haven't really decided the details. Um, kind of getting through a few projects first. So I hope you're all doing well. And, um, I hope you're getting some great projects done and enjoying your knitting time. So take care. 